Hi everybody, this is Lars from CatCamStuff.com. Let's do three quick HSM works tips. And as you can see here, this is revision number two. So we had one prior and you should be able to find that on the YouTube channel. But you could also just go to CatCamStuff.com and over to the right here, you will see that we have a HSM works category and that's where you will find uh, these HSM works tips if, you, if you're looking for more of them. Also be aware of this is kind of like coming out of the SolarWorks tips. So there's over 100 SolarWorks tips in here. But HSM works, that's where you will find these uh, HSM works tips. So let's jump into SolarWorks here. I'm going to go into SolarWorks. And I always program inside an assembly if I can. It just makes it easier. I can kind of like see the vice. But of course, HSM works don't care if you're inside an assembly or a, a part level. It's all the same. So I have this part here where I have like these six cavities that we're going to machine out here. So my first tip when it comes to using um, HSM works is that you actually have a pattern option up here. So I do have uh, six um, different cavities or, or similar cavities, but I can actually just select one and then I can pattern right inside of HSM works. So if I go in here and say I want to do a adaptive clearing, and I'm just going to select the quarter inch end mill that I already have in here. When you go over to the second tab, into the selection, the geometry tab in here, you can go into selection. And if I just select the faces of this first one, you will see that I get some good roughing tool path here, but of course only the one that I selected. Now I can actually go in and use the pattern option right in here. And you will see this is just like being inside SolidWorks. Uh, I can do linear patterns, I can do circular patterns, mirroring patterns. And really all I do is I select the first direction. So I can select an edge here. And uh, then I can put in a value. And I can increase or decrease the amount I want. So here's the three along this edge. And then of course I can go direction number two and select the other end here. And I can go in here uh, by a value. And just like that, I have actually selected all six, right? So now I've programmed all six with only selecting one. So the first tip is be aware of that inside of HSM works, we can pattern things in here. Very neat. Now, my second tip that I want to show you is that though that I selected all the faces um, on this part here, um, if I just open up the part itself and just look at the feature tree, you will like to see that when I created this part here, I only created one and then I pad on that and then I mirrored across an axis. So inside of HSM works, you actually don't have to just select faces. You can actually select features. So if I go back into my adaptive clearing here, I'm going to select the same tool. Now when I go over to the geometry where you before saw me selecting all the faces I want to machine, you actually do get the SolidWorks feature tree right here. And I could just as well go in and select the cut, the linear pattern from SolidWorks, and the mirroring of that. So you don't have to select all the faces. You can actually select features right inside of SolidWorks, and it knows what it is. So very quick way to select that. So select so feature number two is that or trick number two is that you can actually select SOLIDWORKS features inside of HSM works too, not just faces. So that opens up a completely other way that you can kind of like select things when you if you're modeling up fixes and things like that. So trick number three is ordering. So you can actually control how HSM works is going to do these different pockets. If you're looking at at my 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 screen right now, you will see that I do have a lot of rapid moves. That's all the yellow lines. Now, the neat thing about, you know, when people are programming, some people doesn't really don't care if it takes 10 minutes or, or eight minutes to program a part. But sometimes you also just want some some order in there. Uh, and you maybe want to control that. Now, it's really easy inside of, of HSM works. And the reason it's easy inside of HSM works is these five tabs are always the same. So when you're kind of like learning what is in the different tabs, you will see that they are kind of like, that's how they already they always are. So you don't get bombarded with new pop-ups flying in your face and so forth. So to redirect these rapid moves, all I really have to do is to go over to my passes tab, 
that has everything to do with my endmill being in the in the material in the cut and i can just go in here and say i want to order every cut by an area that means that now it's going to literally go in and sort all the tool path within an area and now you will see that it's going to be walking uh, around in a more should we say logical fashion so the three tips of today is don't forget you can actually use pattern right in here so if you just have one pocket or one feature you can select that and you can patterning it through just like you do inside SOLIDWORKS and trick number two is that you can actually select SOLIDWORKS features right inside of um, your selection box inside of HSM works not just faces and the last tip here is you have a lot of great options if you go in and right click and hit edit so explore some of these different options you have in here because that will actually result in that you get a nice clean tool path uh, to machine your part i really hope that you find this helpful of course you're always welcome to email me at lars at catcamstuff.com or leave a comment I'm looking forward to send you some more quick HSM Works tips uh, soon. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day. Thank you.